I've been testing CloudCode's new subagent feature, and I'm blown away by how it can actually build applications, splitting tasks between specialized subagents that communicate with each other, just like a real dev team. Let me show you exactly how this works and how to get it running on your VPS yourself. All right, so if you're not yet familiar with CloudCode subagents, you can think of them as specialized AI team members, each with their own expertise. Just like in a real development team, you wouldn't ask your database expert to design your UI, right? Cloud code works the same way. When you give Cloud code a task, it doesn't just start coding randomly. Instead, it breaks down your requests and assigns different parts to different subagents. Let me show you how this typically works. First, there's the planning subagent. This is like your project manager. It looks at what you want to build and creates a roadmap. It decides what technologies to use, what files to create and how to structure everything. Then we have the implementation subagents. These are your developers. You might have one working on the backend API, another building the front end, and yet another setting up the database. They work in parallel, just like a real team would. There's also the review subagent. Think of it as your senior developer who checks the code for bugs suggests improvements and makes sure everything follows best practices. And finally, the integration subagent. This is your DevOps engineer, making sure all of the pieces work together and deploying everything properly. And they communicate with each other seamlessly. If the front-end subagent needs a new API endpoint, it tells to the back-end subagent if the review subagent finds an issue, it sends it back for fixes just like a real dev team would. The difference is focus. Instead of one AI trying to handle everything, each subagent sticks to what it knows best. In practice, this means less back and forth and fewer random errors. All right, let's get Cloud Code running on your VPS and see these subagents in action. Here we are in the Hostinger VPS page. We are going to choose a preferred plan and use our one-click installation template to get Cloud Code up and running instantly. When choosing the template, see Cloud Code right here? Click on that. Once you do that, press continue. You will be redirected to the billing page. After you submit your billing information, you will see the VPS onboarding page like this. Once you enter this page, you can generate your own root password or create your own one and connect your SSH keys if you have one. The next step is that you can select to install malware scanner or not if you prefer not to have one and just press continue. After that, you will see that your VPS is setting up so just wait a few minutes until it's complete. Once it finishes, you will see the Manage VPS button. You press on that and you will be redirected to your VPS overview page. Right here at the top right corner, you will see the browser terminal. So click on that and you will enter the terminal to use Cloud Code. And that's all for the setup. The template automatically sets up everything, all its dependencies and the proper environment. For those who prefer the command line, you can absolutely install it manually using the terminal but the one-click option gets you started much, much faster. And now let's see those subagents in action. I'll create a real-time VPS metrics dashboard. And once you're in the terminal, you can enter the Claude command. And the first thing that will pop up to you is to select the textile. And uh, there's six of them. You can select either one. After you do that, the second thing is select the login method. So there's Claude code with subscription and there's Anthropic console account. I will be using Anthropic console account for this time. And once you enter this, a pop-up should open. And if it doesn't, like for me, you just copy and paste this URL into your browser. Once you do that, you will see an option to select your organization. So in this case, I will select hosting your operations and you need to authorize your subscription. Once you do that, you will copy the code and paste inside the terminal again. After you do this, you will see a message that login is successful. Press enter to continue. So right now you're in the cloud code itself. And the first question you will see is, do you trust the files in this folder? And as you can see, it's a root folder. So in most cases, yes, you do trust the files in the root folder. So just press enter and continue. And right now I will create a real-time 
VPS metrics dashboard and for that I will type just a simple prompt. Create a web app that tracks real-time data of this VPS and host it on this VPS also. As you can see the cloud code started responding immediately that means it started doing its job and as you can see we have different sub-agents working on different tasks so just by pressing on yes I will confirm it. And and you can also press Ctrl T shortcut to see the whole to-do list of what has been done already and what is currently being done. Okay, so just by looking at this to-do list, we can see that the first item is analyze the current VPS environment and available technologies. So this is a single sub-agent doing its own task. And as you can see, the second to-do item is create a real-time monitoring web app with system metrics and it's currently being done. And the list goes on and on and on until all of the to-do items are completed. And there we have it, the complete version of your VPS monitoring web app and we can see the IP address that we can copy and paste into the browser and see what it built. And there it is, the VPS monitor dashboard that shows us CPU usage, memory, disk usage, system information, network, all from the single prompt that was inside Cloud Code. And it's being updated every two seconds, as I can see. So there you have it. You have just built your first web app using Cloud Code. And now let's see what else it can do. So one of the most exciting things about Cloud Code is that you are not limited to its built-in sub-agents. You can actually create your own custom sub-agents for specialized tasks. Let's say you work with a specific framework or have a unique coding standards at your company. You can create a custom sub-agent that knows exactly how to work with your setup. Creating a custom sub-agent is surprisingly straightforward. You define its role, give it a specific instructions and Cloud Code Code will incorporate it into your team. For example, you could create a security sub-agent that always checks for vulnerabilities and implements best security practices specific to your industry. Or a documentation sub-agent that automatically generates documentation in your company's preferred format. The process is simple. You describe your sub-agent's expertise, its responsibilities, and any specific rules it should follow. Cloud Code then integrates this custom sub-agent into its workflow and it works alongside the default sub-agents. Once we get back to the terminal itself, we can enter the command slash agents. And as you can see, there are currently no agents found. That means we do not have any created ourselves, but there are three different sub-agents built in outside of the box that Cloud Code provides on its own, you know? So right now we will create a new sub-agent by pressing enter. As you can see, we have two options. One is for project, the second one is personal. So if you choose the project itself, it will be limited to this project scope only. It will have the context window in this project. It will uh, have the memory only in this project. But if you select the personal one, it will not be limited to this project only. So in this case, I will select the project option. And once you do that, you will have two other options to choose one. The first one is generate with Claude that is recommended. And the second one is manual configuration. In this manual configuration, you will have to think of a name yourself and then put a description of what this sub agent does. But in our case, I will select the generate with Claude option then we only have to give a full description of what the sub-agent should do, how it does it, and all in between. Okay, so let me type, this agent is responsible for creating nice UI frontend using react.js. And we press enter, and as you can see, it starts generating agent from that description only. Then you will see an option like this to select the tools you allow this agent to use. In this case, I will select all tools because I don't want to have any limitations at all. We press continue and then we have to select the model we want to use. In most of the cases, I personally use Sonnet and once you do that, you will have to select the color of your sub-agent. I will select green in this case. And there you have it. This is your first sub-agent and you only need to press enter to continue and save. And you will be prompted once again to see the list of all agents. And in this case, you can see it's four agents here, your own created React UI builder and the other three that are stock. 
we can exit the screen. So now let's try to create something new with our brand new sub agent. So once I get back to the terminal, I write a prompt, do a page revamp using React sub agent, make sure backend is up to date and I press enter. So the cloud code itself started building and revamping the VPS monitoring page. As you can see, we can see the same to do's list that we saw previously, but in this case, we can also see React UI builder that is doing its own job. So that's why we created a sub agent specific for react.js. And in this case, it's building something. And once it finishes its job, it will send another request to another agent that will test the revamped version of VPS monitoring dashboard. Okay, so I see that it already finished all of its to-do tasks. So let's see how it did the job. So we get back to the browser and refresh the site and okay. So as you can see, the difference is night and day. It used the React.js sub agent to completely revamp the web app that we currently have. And one important thing to mention is that VPS dashboard actually taking the real VPS metrics data from the backend. And the coolest part is that you can access this VPS dashboard from anywhere, even from your mobile phone. This means you can essentially build your perfect AI development team tailored exactly to your needs. Your custom subagents become part of the collaborative process, communicating with other subagents and contributing their specialized knowledge to every project. What's powerful about hosting this on a VPS is that your custom subagent and their configurations persist. Once you set up your perfect team, they're always ready to work on your next project. Plus, your VPS gives you computing power to run multiple subagents efficiently, even on complex projects. The combination of Cloud Code's intelligent subagent system and the flexibility to create your own specialized team members means you're not just getting an AI coding assistant, you're getting the completely customizable AI development department. Before we wrap up, here's a quick tip. Start with the full subagents to understand how they work together. Then gradually introduce custom subagents as you identify specific needs in your workflow. The more specific and focused your custom subagents are, the better they'll perform. And that's a wrap on Cloud Code. What kind of custom subagents are you excited to try? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to build your own AI agents with the same precision using any 10, I've got a video on the exact prompting framework that gets perfect results every single time. Check it out right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.